What you doing? I'm the AC, and this is Otaku News Reviews. This time I'm talking about Fabricant 100 by Daisuke Inoshima, Chapter 2 Fabricants. It came out on Shonen Jump's Viz website app on December 11, 2022, and it is about 25 pages long, so about half of what the first chapter was. Now, this chapter is about Ashibi and Fabricant 100 out on a little boat on a lake because they're there because there's been disappearances, and of course, they suspect that it's another fabricant, which of course is going to because that's the manga. Now, Ashibi knows about this because he saw in a newspaper and there's an old saying, something like, if you hear a voice call out to you, you must not look into the water, uh, which kind of comes into play here because if you look in the water, you can't really see anything. And it turns out the fabricant that they're looking for uh, uses some kind of bubble, Water, there's water reflection science in it that they actually discuss and it's something like, I don't know, something about how the bubble in the water reflects the light in a weird way. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I did music and now I do this. So I don't know exactly all that. But it goes to show that these fabrics are also kind of smart, which makes sense. It's not all about physical stuff, but I guess the fabric can't really steal a brain because that will turn into a different person. I don't know, that's a whole different thing. Anyways, so Ashibi uses his blood in the lake again. I um, guess it's because of the lake. Like, it has something to do with its special lungs. And he's right. It's, I get, huh, actually using organs too. How do these fabricants even do surgery on themselves? I don't know. Are they doing it on themselves or do they have someone else? I didn't think about that. Hang on, because that comes in important later now that i just realized in it anyways uh when uh, so the fabricant jumps out of the boat like a or jumps out of the water snatches a chibi out of the boat like a dolphin kind of almost mermaid-esque and how this one looks and just through talking this uh fabricant compares taking body parts from people like how humans pick up clothes. So that's interesting. But how Ashibi eventually gets out of this is using a pen and a piece of paper, write a little note, somehow sends it back up to Fabricant 100. And it's just another little thing of foreshadowing. In this short chapter, there's a lot of like foreshadowing, I guess, now that I'm thinking about it, to how in the beginning, they were kind of a uh, hundred was asking why he's taking all these notes and she takes the pencil uh, or pen crushes it real quick thing but it comes back into play here so what his note says is punch of water i grew one centimeter because the fabricant 100 is obsessed with him i cheats him like a very overbearing mother that doesn't want to miss a thing but only because she's getting i was about to be weird she's getting his body and youth and stuff i don't know his blood but she wants to take care of him. So 100 punches the water, way overkill, and then kills the, this fabricant with another punch. Not kills right away, but he has a, enough time to chirp out another kind of thing, saying like, now that the doctor's gone, they never know like what the true ideal is, and they'd be cursed with having to try to figure out themselves, and that he hopes that this boy is the, isn't going to be the wrong one, and that's it, and then it dies. Uh, but through all this, uh, Ashibi, I guess 100 too, mainly Ashibi's burying all the corpse he found in the lake. Nice to do shows. I guess Ashibi has some respect for the dead or something like that. I don't know, it doesn't really go into it. He just does it. He doesn't really say anything else much about it. But what he does say is he kind of admired this fabricant and like being underwater and seeing this. And he's just not... He doesn't understand why these fabricants aren't satisfied with they able they get these parts from people and they just keep wanting more. That's called greed, and that's not just about fabricants. That's people. They keep wanting more even though they have plenty. Blah blah blah. So, and that's pretty much it for the main story. Of this it was really quick, but it felt like it actually had more substance than uh, the first chapter. But a couple other things we see. We see one quick flashback about. 100 and some man maybe uh and then we also see just a very quick glimpse of potential energies that are wanting to stop it, some human if they're going around killing fabricants which we know it is a shibi and 100 things i wish they would have kept continuous as just finding out what this one's this fabricant's number was because they don't really show like they did in the last one it's like it'll be kind of neat just to see which the number of each one maybe it'll show again later i don't know and then they did a sprinkle in a little bit of the logic or explanation of how fabricants work, but they don't really tell us anything new that we didn't already know, or that just 
it, it just makes sense. It's like, yeah, of course, stuff. But that is it for this chapter. It's actually pretty good. It has more, even though it was half the length, I felt like it had more. It's still kind of typical, and it's going to be short uh, with these enemies. We'll see what kind of enemies they are. If they're actually bad, if they're going to be one of those uh, enemy to friends kind of things. It's, it probably is going to be. I don't know. Um, this the hundreds flashback. This guy could now. I didn't think about this until now. This guy in her flashback could be the one helping all these other fabricants, uh, like do all these operations and stuff. Because I don't know how they're doing it themselves. It's not like they just take it, eat. Maybe take it, eat it, or they take it and just like <laughs> there it is on them. I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes from here. Uh, it gave me a little more hope, but it also still feels like it's not going to be a long series. So, I don't know. We'll see how it is. I'm liking it. It's nothing crazy special yet, but it's like, this is a decent read. Still one of my favorite ones of all the new ones that came out. So, I'm interested to see where it's going to go. But, yeah, let me know what you thought if you read this chapter, where you think it's going to go. You know, it's still early in the series. We can do plenty of predictions. And I'm looking forward to see what anyone else is. But yeah, you can tell me what you thought either in the comments if you can. Or you can email the AC stories at gmail.com if you want to talk that way. Or you can find me on my social media. Uh, the AC stories on all those too. Um, and I also have a Discord you can join. Uh, all this stuff, link's going to be in the description so you can find it there. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for listening to this. Uh, I'm the AC. Until next time, bye.